Where's the lobby? Down the hall and to the left. Thanks. So, of course, this is the scene, the famous scene from Home Alone 2 when Macaulay Culkin, Kevin McAllister in the movie, asks then real estate mogul mm -hmm. Donald Trump for directions. And that was at the point where the president, the current president, Donald Trump, owned the Plaza Hotel. And Emma, we were talking about this over the break. I'm a bigger fan of Home Alone 2 than the first Home Alone because Kevin has to find his way around New York and he sets up the booby trap at his uncle's house. But also you get that president presidential cameo, at least. <laughs> You know, I, we didn't know it at the time, right. but um, very interesting movie, and yeah. the Pigeon Lady is also fun in that one, too. She is, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love the fact that it's set in New York, because, of course, yeah. you see New York at Christmas time, which is, you know, such a beautiful time in the city. Of course, you've got all the, the big trees set up. There's ice skating around the city, and, uh, you know, that little moment when uh, the president, uh, obviously, he wasn't the president at the time, but had a little lighthearted moment. I think that's always great to see, just a personable side of uh, Donald Trump. And we got to see in that role. Of Down course, the hall the to the left, right? Yeah, that was <laughs> he had one, one line. A very simple he line. He got it. All right, good stuff. Now, the president and first lady, they had a few more lines uh, yesterday when they issued a joint message wishing Americans a Merry Christmas, noting the importance of the holiday and also praising Americans' efforts during the pandemic. Let's listen. The president and I want to wish every American a very Merry Christmas. During the sacred season, Christians celebrate the greatest miracle in human history. More than 2,000 years ago, God sent His only begotten Son to be with us. An angel announced the birth of our Lord and Savior to humble shepherds. He said, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all of the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. At Christmas, we thank God for sending us His Son to bring peace to our souls and joy to the world. As you know, this Christmas is different than years past. We are battling a global pandemic that has affected all of us. Yet, through this great challenge, we have been inspired by the kindness and courage of citizens across this country. Teachers have worked extraordinarily hard to keep our children learning. Students have delivered groceries to elderly neighbors. Communities have found new ways to stay connected to one another. Courageous first responders, doctors, and nurses have given everything to save lives. Brilliant scientists have developed treatments and vaccines. We are delivering millions of doses of a safe and effective vaccine that will soon end this terrible pandemic and save millions and millions of lives. We're grateful for all of the scientists, researchers, manufacturing workers, and service members who have worked tirelessly to make this breakthrough possible. It is truly a Christmas miracle. During this wonderful time of year, we also give thanks for the brave and selfless Americans who keep us safe. We are forever grateful for the men and women of law enforcement and the heroes of the United States military. In this holy season, we thank God for His infinite love, and we pray that the light of His glory will forever shine on this magnificent land on behalf of Melania and the entire Trump family, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.